So people are upset with Link, Chainlink that is. Better yet, upset about the price of Chainlink. I don't know whether to laugh now or to laugh later. If we want to compare a bull run to a marathon, I would say we're right around the 20 to 22 mile mark of the marathon in this bull run. And if you like Link or you believe in it, you're probably going to need to grow a pair. Today, I'm going to lay out for you why Chainlink is going to double soon. And remember, this is not financial advice. I'm not your financial advisor. Seek the help of a professional before you invest and always do your own research. There are some savages in these crypto streets. Reason number one, when it comes to partnerships, collaborations, and integrations, according to ChainlinkEcosystem.com, there's literally no project outside of Ethereum that can hold a candle to Chainlink. We're talking about Batman and Robin type partnerships, which is going to drive the use case forward. And it has and it will continue to. And when it comes to partnerships, let me go ahead and just pop up the list of partnerships and allow them to scroll while we discuss it. It's not going to show all of the logos, but you're going to get the point as this long list continues to go on. And by the way, currently, according to the site, there's 908 of those. No comparison anywhere else in the space. For those not familiar with Chainlink, let me just say real quick what it does. It is an Oracle. Now, what Oracles do, they provide data. They provide off-chain data, real-world data, that is, on-chain. So, when it comes to smart contracts and many things in the blockchain space, they literally would not be possible without oracles. For example, imagine sports betting, but you don't have access to the score of the games, or you have access to the score of the games, but you don't know if the scores you're being given are correct. That would pretty much be counteractive to the whole point of betting, correct? So, oracles are an absolute necessity. Chainlink has the best partnerships in all of crypto, bar none. Not only are these partnerships with smaller projects, basically, they're with all of the base layers. Polkadot, Ethereum, Cardano, and many more. And those projects go far beyond the blockchain world. The partnerships are going to continue to take this project to the next level. And just to show you a few headlines of some of those partnerships and collaborations, Associated Press, Chainlink to bring trusted data onto leading blockchains. Forbes, Oracles, the invisible backbone of DeFi and applied blockchain apps. Google Cloud, hedging against bad weather with cloud data sets and blockchain oracles. Swisscom to become part of the world's largest Oracle network. Swisscom is joining Chainlink, the world's largest Oracle network, as part of a pilot initiative. How Swisscom will act as a supplier for decentralized financial applications. Smart contract startup tapped by Google as blockchain partner. The partnership described in a detailed Google Cloud blog post aims to place BigQuery data on the blockchain using Chainlink Oracle smart contracts. BigQuery is Google's data warehousing and business intelligence solution. So obviously, Google's somewhat of a big deal. Then we have China, who has banned crypto too many times for me to count. How Chainlink and Cosmos fit into China's grand blockchain initiative. I'm going to put a link to all of those partnerships down below. You can read through them, check them out. Just remember, the partnerships are unparalleled to any other project in this space, and that is reason number one. Reason number two is the adoption and growth. Now, obviously, when we're talking about adoption, that does include and is linked to those partnerships, but what you need to pay attention to when I'm talking about growth is the speed in which it has happened. Over a five-year period since the beginning of Chainlink, here is the speed in which those partnerships have grown at. In 2017, there were two. In 2018, there were 21. In 2019, 
there were 103. In 2020, there were 241. And in 2021, 534. Those numbers combined for that number that I mentioned earlier, 908 total partnerships, collaborations, and integrations. If you think about that speed, just think about where we'll be at five years from now. You always want to pay attention to adoption. Chainlink's adoption is faster than any other Oracle in the space. And quite frankly, when it comes to partnerships, faster than any other blockchain project, period. Number three, everyone's always looking for the next ETH killer. Everyone's looking for the next Chainlink killer. I know they were at one point with mentionings of the names like Band Protocol. This was last year. Also, Teller and some other projects. But let's just put this into perspective. As of July 2021, Chainlink's three biggest opponents, Band Protocol, API3, and Wink Link. At that time, in terms of partnerships, collaborations, and integrations, Chainlink was still 10 times larger than those three combined. So I'm sure someone in the comments will add some names of some other oracles, but at the end of the day, they do not compare to Chainlink and they're nowhere close. Doesn't mean they're not good projects and that some projects won't use both because when it comes to having reliable data, a lot of these projects will use Chainlink in association with another project like Band Protocol. So we have seen that. So it's not that those other projects aren't good. It's just they're not on the level of Chainlink. And one thing about that with Chainlink is the level of marketing and exposure you get due to being associated with Chainlink is unparalleled to any other project, certainly any other Oracle project. Number four, I said it earlier about, you know, betting on sports, and there's a whole lot of other applications, but imagine not having reliable data. It would pretty much shut the blockchain down. The very fact that Chainlink was the original Oracle and found a way to bring off-chain data on-chain really revolutionized the blockchain space and made all these things we see now extremely possible. It's really at the epicenter of smart contracts. So simply put, without Chainlink and Oracles, it is a large step backwards in the blockchain world. It is a must. We see a lot of different use cases that get people excited, but the truth is you could do without them. There's just hype around them. When it comes to oracles and data feeds, this isn't just hype. This is a use case that is an absolute must to power blockchains, and that's the reason for that growth that I spoke of earlier. You have to have oracles. Some of you may remember when Cardano was going to use their own oracles, and they still may do that, but guess what? They did end up going ahead and partnering with Chainlink, and the fact that all of these large projects, Ethereum, and all the so-called Ethereum killers use this oracle called Chainlink should tell you it is the real deal and it's extremely important. Number five, the community. We have the Link Marines. Die hard believers and have been for a long time in Chainlink's projects, Chainlink's ecosystem, and really rallied around Chainlink in the early days and have continued to. Let's just put it this way. The Link Marines were honestly Wall Street bets before Wall Street bets. When it comes to Reddit, over 70,000 members. When it comes to Twitter, over 500,000 followers. A massive community. And the thing about this community is, it's not just a bunch of people just rallying for the price to go up. It's really people who are connected to Chainlink. They understand what it does, understand its use case. It's deeper than price. They understand how important Chainlink is to blockchain and crypto as a whole. And for that reason, they're as loyal as can be. Community is always extremely important when you're talking about a project. And though many people are just in crypto strictly for the price, Without community and people who believe, you're not going to get that price. 
It's just not going to happen. You have to have a community of solid followers. And Chainlink has that. There's many more reasons why Chainlink, honestly, is going to double. But these are just five, and it's pretty obvious. Chainlink's been sitting there kind of around that same level for a while. But I do encourage you to remember, there was a point not that long ago when people were thinking, man, is Chainlink going to be able to get to $10? And look where we are now. So, I do believe now is the time, if ever, to pay attention to Chainlink. And when I say it's going to double, I think that's just the start. I think it will go beyond. I do want to say once again, I'm not a financial advisor. And as well, what you should remember is the longer that these coins consolidate, the larger the upside. And I do believe Chainlink is primed and is ready. So for those that have been patient, they will be rewarded in my opinion. Let me know in the comments, is there another Oracle out there that you think has the potential of Chainlink? Even if it's five, 10 years down the road, do you see a project that looks like it's trending in the direction of Chainlink? Oracles are extremely important. So let me know in the comments what you think. Also, let me know what you think Chainlink's price will hit during the remainder of this bull run. Now, when I say it's going to double, I'm just talking about more in the short term. At the end of this cycle, I still think we have more upside than that, and I'm excited to see what it does. I've been a believer in this project for quite some time, and you've got to love when a project's use case is a must-have. I would consider Chainlink similar to an Ethereum or a base layer at this point, and not Ethereum specifically, but just those L1s. They really are the base of what you can do with cryptocurrency. So for that reason, needing to have those data feeds, Chainlink is almost equally as important. With no data, it shuts down the possibilities of blockchain technology. Thank you for watching the content. Make sure to do me a favor. It really helps the YouTube algorithm hit the like button. Also, if you want to keep up with the latest content that I drop, make sure to hit the bell for notification. And I've got that fifth video coming for the Polkadot Parachain Picks very soon. Make sure to check that out. If you are not subscribed to the channel, consider subscribing. I've got a whole lot more great content coming. And you want to stay locked in for the remainder of this bull run. There really is life-changing opportunity ahead. Thanks for watching the content, and I will see you next time.